In today's video, we are going to be catching and cooking a wild beaver. Now, everybody knows I'm going to have big buck teeth, a flat tail, and beautiful fur. So today, we're going to be heading to a spot where I set some beaver traps a couple days ago, and we're going to be checking them. And by the end of the video, we're going to be heading back home and cooking up our catch, and then we're going to let my grandmother try it. All right, guys, so we're heading out right now. Hopefully, we can catch ourselves a beaver, guys. Stay tuned. All right, guys, we're down here checking traps. Let's... uh. I'm gonna hand the cameraman over here. The water's gone up a lot. We've had a lot of rain. Busted their dam, eh? Got set off, there's nothing in there. Wow. I wonder if it was the water that set it off. All right guys, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna wait a little bit. We're gonna come back, set the trap again and uh, hopefully we can catch ourselves a beaver. We're gonna catch a beaver by the end of this video, guys. I promise. All right, guys, we're out here. We're gonna be checking the trap. Oh, man, I think we might have something, Tyler. We have a set here. Oh. There is ice right here, though, Tyler. I can't tell if we have something. Oh yeah, that is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got a beaver. All right, guys, there's a beaver in this set. We're gonna have to get it out. I'm gonna give this to my trusty camera assistant, Tiller. His name's Tyler, not Tiller, but you know what I'm saying. You can say hello, Tyler. Hi. You want to back up just a tad there? So I'm gonna put on my uh, awesome looking gloves here and uh, we'll take him out of the trap. We also have another set down there and we might set up a couple more traps here. So it's kind of hard to see, but the dam's like right here. Go. Got him right behind the neck. That's perfect. He died pretty darn quick, I'd say. Go. So really quick, I'd like to take a second and tell you what kind of traps these are. These are actually a steel trap. They're a conibear type trap. So basically it's a square and when the beaver swims through it, it's a trigger and the jaws close. And when set correctly, these traps dispatch beavers very fast. So it's a good choice for trapping beavers, especially under ice. This probably isn't that old of a beaver. I couldn't tell you how old he is, but it can't be too old. So we'll uh, grab some snow and the snow just kind of dries him off a little bit so he doesn't freeze to the ice. This was in a uh, Duke 330. Okay guys, so here's the first beaver. Like I said, we still got another set to check, but look at that. Now their hide should be really good and prime. Not a giant one, there's his tail. You can see his teeth there. Look at that, that's pretty neat. Got some nice uh, meat on there and this fur is really good and prime right now. So we're gonna head downstream, check another one, uh, check another set and then we'll get uh, this set remade. Check if the ice is strong. Well, maybe I don't know. I just cracked the whole thing. There's a set here, guys, but it's all froze up. It wasn't whenever we set it, obviously, but now it's froze up real good, so. Oh, this ice is so sketch, but we're not that deep right now, so. I bet something went through it, but it didn't snap. No, you're good. Okay. Glad we're not on like a lake or something where the ice it was like shit. Okay. All right, guys, we're gonna reset this 330 here. Boom. Well, that should be not too pretty bad. Okay, guys, so we got the beaver here. He's out of the water and everything. I was gonna re uh, set a couple more traps, so we don't really have time for that right now. So I got that one trap reset, and I pulled that other one. So I only have one trap here right now, which, you know, isn't the best, but uh, yeah. We got some beaver to cook, boys. All right, so now that we're back home, I'm gonna be taking the pelt and the meat off of this animal. Uh, thankfully, my mom let me use the dining table to do this so I don't have to be outside uh, freezing my butt off, so thanks to her. And as you can see, I actually got quite a bit of meat off this beaver. All right, to start off this sweet and sour ginger beaver recipe, I'm gonna be cutting up an onion. That's gonna be pretty fine, not super fine. I like some, you know, a little bit of chunk in there. And then I'm also gonna be cutting up a couple cloves of garlic. We're gonna cut up the beaver into small chunks. And actually, my knife's a little bit dull, so I'm gonna give a quick touch up on the steel. And we're gonna proceed with cutting this thing up into small chunks. And there it is on the cross 
crock pot looking super good. We're gonna add in some ketchup, quite a bit of ketchup, along with some brown sugar. I'm gonna leave the recipe in the description for you guys so you can look at all the measurements down there. We're also gonna add in some Worcestershire sauce, along with some vinegar. I also added about a quarter cup of water in here. And since this is a spicy dish, we're gonna be adding some cayenne pepper, along with some ginger, some salt, some pepper, and then we're gonna give that a pretty good stir. I'm gonna put the cover on and we're gonna let that cook for several hours. And you can see several hours later, this is cooked down really nicely and it smells amazing. All right, so since this is a rice dish, we're gonna add about a cup of rice in there. I'm using wild rice. You can use regular white rice. You could probably get away with basmati as well. We're gonna give that a little stir and there's enough juice in there that I'm not gonna add any more liquids to this. An hour and a half later, it's ready to eat. Okay, so here's the beaver. We're gonna give it a shot. I already know this is good because I've tried, I've had this dish multiple times. So, plus it's my cooking. So, anyway, here we go. We got some beaver and some rice in there. Tastes, tastes good. Mm, good stuff. Nothing wrong with it at all. All right, let's go see how my, uh, what my grandmother thinks of it. Okay, Nana, here's your uh, turn to try the beaver, eh? Okay, here we go. Tell us how you like it. Mmm. What does it taste like? It tastes like roast beef with um, maybe a little sweetener in it. Sweet and sour, right? It's sweet and sour, yeah. So it's good. I ate it. It's good. If you like this video, please make sure to go down and subscribe. I'm really trying to get to a thousand subscribers. Click right over here if you want to see a rabbit catch and cook or right over here for a raccoon catch and cook.